Good morning, friends. It's Susan Smith with Stamp Creatively, and you probably wonder what I have on my desk. Well, maybe you don't, but um, I, oh, wait a minute. I just found myself, and then I ha had to hear myself, which is like the death of me. So this is, I love this thing. It's in the new catalog. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. It's my favorite. And one of the reasons are things like this. See my flamingo? Okay, it goes on top of my mug. Because my friends are funny, this is what they got me. And I love it. Because some days we need to be this, right? Because that's funny. So I we spent the day yesterday together. It goes on my shelf back there. See, I have lots of fun things on my shelf. Um, yesterday, we spent the day together downtown going over places. Stampin' Up's coming to Indy in November. So we're looking at places to have an event on Friday and Sunday before and after. So we went downtown to look at venues and we had such a good time. And it's just nice to have friends because it's easier to do this together than because I don't want to do it by myself. It's no fun. So that's thing one. Thing two is, see this? has tea in it so I made some simple syrup yesterday and I had a little bit left so I just left it in my pot and made my tea in it this morning this tastes like grandma's tea my grandmother used to make it so strong and so sweet and when I was small I thought it was fantastic so this is grandma's tea this morning just so you know but that leads me to what I want to show you because this when I saw this designer series paper and when I saw the stamp set it reminded me of just grandma you know the things she had at her house the patterns that she had so I have some projects to show you with one of the celebration things this starts July 1st I can't show you the inside yet but I can show you what I have and some of the projects so here is the wonderful world set and this is one of the items you can get free along with this designer series paper. And we're so bad, we, me and my friends, when we get together and we look at the new catalog, we go, oh, I like this, oh, I don't, oh, I like, oh, I don't. Well, this was one of the, this reminded us of grandma and we weren't sure that we were in love with it. So let me show you what I did with it. That's the other side of this one. And then you can tell me if you love it. I wanted to use all the different flower images so I'm going to th show you three cards um, that I did, and then I'm going to make one for you. See, look at this one. Isn't that pretty? I mean, who knew? So what I did here was I used this rose that's in the stamp set. It's this one. I used the designer series paper. These are those new frames. And when you run them through, it cuts the outside and it cuts the inside. So the outside of the um, shimmering white, I use shimmering white on that. Um, I have to use for later, but the inside of the polka dots I put behind it. Isn't that cute? So who knew? This is that, um, oh, I think it's Evening Evergreen ribbon, which Evening Evergreen's not in here. This is Mossy Meadow and it's got pear in it, but I went ahead, I liked it. And then I have my pretty gems. So that's card one. Here's card two with the iris. And this is that purple paper. This, I didn't want, I didn't, that wasn't my favorite. So I turned it over and I thought it was beautiful with my iris and my hello. This is a no word set. So I pulled the hello from one of the other sets in the July to December catalog. And then I used my blends on it. Again, I, I liked it. And then this is the one I'm going to show you today. It's using two of the in color designer or two of the in color cardstocks, the designer series paper. I use that new twine. It's in the in colors. And then this is a cornflower. We were told, you know, because uh, I love working for a company that kind of gives me some um, story behind it. So these are flowers from all over the world. Like they can point them out to you which country they're popular in. 
So I liked it. All right, so let me show you the method to my madness. Blending brushes, game changer. I'm just telling you friends, they make a big difference. So this is the Starry Sky and this is the Orchid. So I use the two in color papers and I'm going to take, this is um, five and a half by 11 and I'm gonna fold it back on itself. So I folded it in half, so fold it back on itself. My Wonder Basement Bone Folder. If you don't go over and look at her stuff, she has the cutest little scissor charms right now. They just make me so happy. Okay, so this is the Designer Series paper, and this is cut two by five and a half. I'm gonna use my seal and put it down. Oh, see, I don't mind this pattern either. Sometimes I just need a little um, green. And again, you can get this paper and the stamp set free with $100 orders starting the 1st, July 1st. Guys, it's almost July. Is that not crazy? We live in the woods, so we have summer in the woods. If you don't follow me on Instagram or my Stamp Creatively Facebook, you missed the humongous turtle. That thing was so big. And one of my friends called it a dinosaur turtle. I don't know. It had big claws, and all I knew was it would eat me alive if I tried to get near it, so I did not. And then my dogs found a snake in one of... We had bought some drainage pipe to fix some drainage, and um, my dogs found a snake in it, and they were super shouty about it. So Mark went out and got it, and I videoed it. If you don't like big, long black snakes, which it's in the woods... Everybody keeps telling me I need to keep it. It's a nice snake. And it's a nice snake as long as it's in the woods, but don't come in my space. Okay, so I have Pear Pizzazz, Orchid Oasis. I'm using my blending brushes on the stamp. And then this I used with the Deckle um, dies to cut out my Whisper White cardstock. I just use, or Basic White, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to go light to dark. So I'm going to tap it here and then I'm gonna tap, tap it on the bottom of, or on, on the stamp, directly on the stamp. And I'm gonna go over to the orchid. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the flowers. I thought it stamped prettier when I did it this way than when I went direct from ink to paper. And I'm just gonna hold it down there for a second how pretty that is love it okay so then to get a little color on the edge you can pick whichever pad you want I like to just tap it in there and then it makes those deckled edges stand out a little bit better so that's just going around the edge I'll show you what you can do on the bottom if you tip it a little bit more you get a little bit more ink in there so it's a little bit bolder across the bottom than it is on the sides I'm going to close these because you know I laid my pad in it the other day. Um, or laid my card in my stamp pad after I did it. So I've got it on here and now I'm going to take this twine. The twine comes with all the ink colors all in one package, which is nice. I like the twine because I feel like I can wrap it around several times and it not add a bunch of bulk to my card. There's some ribbons that add a little more bulk than others. This one makes the biggest, fluffiest bow. See? And then when you put it in a card, it goes flat. This is a metallic mesh. It's in the regular catalog. Everything I'm showing you is in the regular catalog, except for the stamp set and paper. And again, you can get it with your first, you can get it with your second $100 order or your first. There's lots of good celebration items. This is our favorite time of year. So look at that. I mean, who knew it could be that cute? I'm gonna stick it on with some dimensionals. So I'm going to put my dimensionals below this so it doesn't slide off, middle, top. Okay. 
There you go. Oh, and then I have my, here they are. These are those opal rounds. And I love them on something like this when I don't have the right color because I feel like it just takes on whatever color the designer's use paper or cardstock is. Let's put this in the middle of the flower. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so there you go, friends. There's card one, card two of the stamp set and the cardstock I wasn't sure I was going to love but it's definitely the grandma stuff. I mean, I say grandma like that's old. I mean, I'm a grandma of nine. And I'm not old, right, friends? We're only as old as we feel. Do I feel like a grandmother of nine? Well, I'll talk to me after I go on vacation with all of them. We're going to take them all on a road trip. I'm super excited. And their parents are also excited because... When we travel together, Gammy's room, and the great Gammy Pappy's room is the room where everybody stays. So we all have things together and um, the kids will come and hang out with us. Breakfast, I clean up breakfast about 10. People can come in and out whenever they want. We play with the kids till they're ready to get up. We need to make sure, our pastor always talks about the difference between a vacation and a trip. And when you take your kids, it's a trip when you go without your kids it's a vacation so my plan is to make a combo so it can be a vacation and a trip all at the same time all right friends thanks for joining me cheers i mean this is i don't drink sweet tea anymore and i took a drink of this and mm, again grandma tea all right friends thanks for joining me i'll see you next week nine o'clock all right bye